Okay, joining us live now is the Australian Strategic Policy Institute senior analyst, Dr. Malcolm Davis. Malcolm, good to see you. Before we get to Miles, um, let's talk about this new drone, the MQ-28A Ghost Bat. What is it and what does it do? It's known as a cooperative combat aircraft. In other words, it's an unmanned aircraft or uncrewed aircraft. Uh, there's no person on board. It's designed to work with uh, aircraft such as the F-35, the Super Hornet and the P-8 Poseidon uh, to basically support those crewed aircraft, undertake more dangerous missions ahead of the formation. Uh, so you have what's known as uh, crewed autonomous teaming, uh, manned, unmanned teaming, if you like, where crewed and, and autonomous platforms work together <clears throat> as a team. Uh, and the Ghost Bat provides that sort of fast long-range strike and surveillance capability that will be part of that process. So it's different from a drone, Malcolm? It's different. It's it's unmanned, but at the same time, it's designed to work with crewed assets, whereas a drone, basically, you send out, you control it from the ground, uh, and it does its job and it comes back. Uh, um, but the uh, the MQ-28 is, is designed to be fully reusable and you don't ideally lose it. Is it armed? It can be armed. Uh, I'm not sure at this point in time whether the Australian government has decided to go down that path, but it can be armed. And uh, the certainly one option would be to develop a, a longer range, larger version uh, that could carry weapons, uh, basically could give us something along the lines of, of a long range bomber capability. But that's really up to the government and uh, Boeing to decide whether they want to go down that path. So, I mean, this is going to be announced by Pat Conroy in uh, a little under two hours time from now. How significant is it with everything that you've just said there? Oh, it's very significant because uh, if you look at where combat aircraft are going, increasingly it's this crude autonomous teaming uh, approach. Uh, the US have a program called Next Generation Air Dominance, um, and this project, the MQ-28 Ghost Bat, plays into that US project of, of developing the next generation of air combat capabilities mm. that won't just be a, a, a fighter with a, 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 pilot air, a pilot in it. It'll be a combination of crewed a aircraft and unmanned aircraft. OK, so just um, a final one here. Just, you know, just for layman's terms, it's working with other aircraft as well. What is it, forward reconnaissance? Beams back images helps out in, in that sense with surveillance? Yeah, reconnaissance, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, okay. um, electronic warfare and potentially strike. OK. Now, Richard Miles, as you just saw there, he's he, he basically confirmed it in question time yesterday. He's um, a lot of friction, let's put it this way, within his own department. Now, it's, it's not new here. This has been going on for some time now. Whoever's at fault, it can't be good for national security. Look, uh, the strategic circumstances that we're in uh, demand uh, that all sides in our defence organisation and in government work together effectively to deal with the challenges that are ahead. Uh, and I think that it's really important for both defence as an organisation and also the government uh, to actually get the job done as quickly as and efficiently as possible. Uh, we don't have a lot of time to play with here. Uh, worst case scenarios on some crises such as Taiwan, uh, for example, suggests three to five years. So we don't have a lot of time to, to mess about. Mm. Uh, so, you know, I think it's really important that both government uh, with the minister and also the defence organisation work together as an efficient team. As I mentioned, you know, the, the criticisms that have come before, and, and Mr Miles alluded to this, in a tail wagging the dog sense. So is the minister in a way right to light a fire within the department? To, to get things going? Look, as I said, I think that uh, both sides need to work together. Yeah. Uh, it, they have an obligation to the Australian people to deliver effective defence, and now they have an obligation to deliver effective defence as quickly as possible. Uh, and we can't be having critical capabilities uh, being delayed uh, with you know decisions being put off and put off and put off. We don't have much time to play with, so it's, it's incumbent for both sides to work together. Good point. Malcolm Davis, good to chat as always. Talk to you soon.